What up? This your boy King Dial 225 coming at you with another reactionary video. And today, man, this shit got me hot heated, as they say in VR old school shit. Oh hey, you're and it's gonna come out of left field, you know what I'm saying? But my beautifully twisted mind, I can speak on any subject. Ellen Pompeo sparred with Denzel Washington. On Grey's Anatomy show. This is my show. You heard right. Ellen fucking Pompeo had the caucasity to disrespect one of the most treasured people within the community. Mr. Denzel Washington who always did things the right way and represented our community 100% the right way. Stay married to his woman. He raised his family. He, he was aware of the position he in and the roles he took to represent the community in a positive light. He worked hard. You know how hard that Denzel Washington had to work in Hollywood as a black actor to be as successful as he are as he is for some woman who tripped up and got a role 300 goddamn years ago that's right greatest and that have been on so damn long and you one of the few remaining original cast members still on the show Sandra O left she doing good goddamn Patrick Dempsey left but for some reason, it's just a very fucking toxic show. Shout out to Isaiah Washington. You know, he did what he did back in the day, but I still fucked with you. You know, even Catherine Heigl. She was just, ugh. This, uh, her attitude sucked. This motherfucker who tripped up, got lucky. White privilege helped her get a show that she been on forever. And you got the audacity to speak Denzel Washington's name. Let's, let me read a bit of this article so you can get the behind the scenes drama from Grey's Anatomy might have passed, surpassed its on-screen conflict on the recent episode of her podcast. Tell me, tell me with Ellen Pompeo, the show star welcome guest Patrick Dempsey who was recently accused of terrorizing behavior on the set of Grey's Anatomy. He was accused of it. Listen. However, the pair shied away from discussing their own rocky past. Instead of, instead an unprovoked Ellen Pompeo chose to share a heated exchange she once had with Denzel Washington. The two-time Oscar-winning winner directed a 2016 episode of Grey's titled The Sound of Silence, in which Pompeo's character had a jaw broken by uh, Damn. I'm high. Sorry. It was the first season of the show that Pompeo fell after the exit of her epileptic. Yes, that's it. A long time co-star Dempsey and Sandra O. Oh. Debbie Allen, a black woman and executive producer. I want y'all to remember this. Remember Sandra Rhymes? I'm going to tell y'all a story about that too. Where you was then, Ellen, when fucking, was it ABC show this shit? When ABC got rid of her behind some motherfucking Disney tickets? This lady has grossed billions for your network. This lady has made you rich beyond your wildest dreams. But you didn't go out here and support her. When she felt played and embarrassed as a black woman who has done so much for the network after fucking, she asked for some extra Disney tickets for a family member and an executive got on the phone like, don't we pay you enough? Like, whoa, okay, okay. So you don't come out here and support this black woman. And I had, you know, I do my little research before I do these videos. Evidently, you've been married to a, a black man for decades and you got black children and that'd be a lot of issue with white people when they when they 
have black kids and, and be married to black people. They tend to think they can say what the fuck they want to us or act like us or like, no, no, no. Your past is temporary. Like you still not in the group. Shut your fucking mouth. Be quiet. Debbie Allen, executive producer. No, you remember fucking different different world and the Cosby show. Debbie Allen been in the game, been representing for us. Had recruited Big Denzel Washington as a surprise guest director to appease this white bitch, Alan Pompeo. Appease a restless Pompeo. Debbie was like, what can I do to keep Alan interested? What can I do to keep Alan here? Because after you, Dempsey, left, I was like, oh, why do I have to stay here, Pompeo? Explain. And Debbie was like, no, no, no. You got to stick around. I'm going to bring in a surprise for you. And she would never tell me who it was, but she knew I was a huge fan of Washington. So you're a huge fan of Washington, but you out here disrespecting his mind, bro? And I've been watching Grey's Anatomy for a long time. As you can tell, all the names I just popped out. Like, bitch, you crossing the line, though. You, 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 you how dare you even bring this man? Let's, let's continue. But if you ain't know, I'm, if you can't tell, I'm triggered. Like, this really triggered me. This is why, this is Washington. Is unassailable within the community. Do you hear me? How dare yo motherfucking mayonnaise laced ass lucky motherfucker? White privilege. White privilege. That's a that surprise evidently saw during a scene in which Pompeo's character, Doctor Meredith Gray, had to listen to an apology from a man who forced her jaw to be wide shut. He made this choice to speak very softly, and Meredith was pissed that. She had to sit there and listen to this apology, and he was look he he wasn't looking at her in the eye. She said of her scene partner, "Again, we love actors who make choices, right?" And I yelled at him. I was like, "Look at me when you apologize. Look at me." And that wasn't in the dialogue. Denzel went ham on my ass. What the fuck is this? Really? Denzel went ham on my ass. Technical difficulties in my bad. Goddamn. You can't read an article nowadays without a bunch of fucking ass popping up. Monetization of the world. Pompey recalled Washington telling her, I'm the director. Don't you tell me, don't you tell him what to do. Apparently she didn't take kindly to her director's direction. And I was like, listen, mother. Yes, right. This bitch called this man Washington motherfucker. Listen, motherfucker, this is my show. This is my set. Who are you telling? Like, you are barely know where the bathroom is, Pompey declared. And I have the utmost respect for the man as an actor, as a director, and as everything. But, like, yo, we went at it all day. Then she went complaining, man. Why the grave start even adding her grievances with Denzel to his wife? Pauletta, when she visited the shit, said, I was like, yeah, he yelled at me today. Yeah, he let me have it today. And I'm not okay with him. I'm not looking at him. And I'm not talking to him. Pompeo recalls she then chalked it up to the idea that actors would be actors adding. So we didn't get through it without a fight. But, you know, that's actors for you. Passion and, and fiery. And that's where... You get the magic, and that's where you get the good stuff. So it was an amazing experience. It really was. Say, bro, look at this shit. Denzel Washington been in the game and representing forever. You've been on one show. 
You did not support Sandra Ryan. And you think that's because you have children that's of color and your husband is a man of color. You feel like you have the right to disrespect a black man. If this not no motherfucking white privilege, I swear. Denzel had to work hard for what his accomplishments. And all you had to do was look a certain way and, and be able to act a decent amount to be on the show that's been on forever. And you feel like you got enough credentials to even this man is trying to direct you and one of his closest friends begged him to appease your ass so you could stay on the show you would have been stupid to leave in the first place for you to stay on the show because you love Denzel so evidently you don't fucking don't so Twitter got on her ass let's get some of these tweets Man, you out your motherfucking mind. Ellen Pompeo. Ha, 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 ha. I cussed that Denzel Washington and tried to harm him even though he was the director. Ha, ha, ha. But we're cool now, Denzel. Some people will never let you, uh, like you because your spirit irritates their demons. See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? When Denzel see Black Twitter, because that's right, Black Twitter is dragging your ass. When Denzel see Black Twitter dragging Ellen Pompeo and he didn't have to say a word. You fucking right, man. You not going to play with Denzel. You not going to put some respect on that main name. You not going to play with Denzel. I'm fucking hot heated. Never forget, Ellen Pompeo once told me she experienced racism because her child, her children are black and then accused me of attacking her when I called her out on it and sick her millions of fans on me. Yeah, she did a lot of other shit too. She did a lot of other shit too. She said a lot of other reckless shit. Y'all go look it up. I take comfort in the fact that Denzel Washington, a Hollywood icon who stays booked and busy, cares so less about Ellen Pompeo, her, and that's another reason that's pissing me off. Women had this ability to pick on a man who not going to do them nothing. Do you hear me? Denzel not going to address this unless somebody keep asking him a question. He, he going he to ignore it because guess what? You nothing to him. I did this for a favor, Debbie Allen, not your ass. You like me. I don't really know who you is. On her live show and her onset tantrum, he never missed it publicly back then and may not even remember it now. Exactly. Denzel Washington opened the door for Chazwick Boltzmann. Go look at that. Go look at that interview. The good shit that Denzel Washington did. All right, Tariq Nishi, you know how he get down. Ellen Pompeo tried to pull a work carry move on Denzel Washington by trying to put him in his place. For being an uppity Negro. Couldn't have said it any fucking better. I know Ellen Pompeo's black kids are tired. Denzel Washington with Ellen Pompeo tried to school him on acting. Denzel who heard. Denzel we heard you got into it with Ellen Pompeo on the set. Care to comment? Who? Man, look, I just had to let y'all, let my opinion on this be known. How dare Ellen Pompeo disrespect Denzel Washington. You must be out of your motherfucking rabbity, raggedy ass mind to think we was going to let that slide. Bitch, you better do better. This your boy, King Dial 225 with another reactionary video. Hit that like, subscribe, and become part of the kingdom. Fucking stupid ass.